Hare Krishna. So we have been discussing the various demons and demonic tendencies in Krishna Leela and what they represent in our life, which anartha and how to kick out the anartha. So the fourth one that we are going to discuss is not a demon but demonic tendency. And this was there in two personalities. They were the sons of Kuvera. Yes, Nala Kuvera and Mani Grave. So now these two personalities or the demonic tendency which they represent is arrogant pride. Now this arrogant pride is a result of wealth. Why were they proud? Because they were sons of Kuvera. They are very very proud. Yes, we have so much of wealth. So this anartha, it comes because of this thought that yes, we are so wealthy, we are so prestigious. And it is described that this puffed up prestige which is rooted in uh, madness for wealth, it gives rise to various different things. I was very shocked to read, but this is what happens. First, cruelty to animals. Second, lust for women or opposite gender. And third, indulgence in alcohol. So as devotees, we might not get into this, but there's a great possibility. But something which is very easy for us, that is given also. And what is that? Debauchery of tongue. And what is that? Uncontrolled eating and low stock. Now this is something that we can see in the devotees also because at times what to do you know we are sadhakas we have come from a background where uh, material sense gratification was the core of our life so this loose talk and uncontrolled eating will be a normal case but because of this especially this loose talk a lot of offenses get committed a lot of uh, different uh, ruckus or mess is what it creates Another thing that is mentioned here is, after this, when we have this loose talk and various, uh, this false or arrogant pride, what manifests is hard-heartedness, shamelessness and all sorts of disgraceful activities. So as soon as we become shameless, like Nala Kuvera and Mani Grave, they were standing naked, even when Narad Muni is there in front, shameless. So as soon as we become shameless, Whatever act, disgraceful activities we do, we'll be least bothered. We'll just keep going on and on and on doing such activities. Now we might say, no, no, I don't do all this. But we never know when this arrogant pride creeps in, or if it, it might be already there, when it might grow and take us out of devotional service. Therefore, it's very, very important to meditate on this pastime. How did Krishna? kill this demonic tendency. It was the mercy of Narada Muni that Nalakuver and Manigri became trees, huge twin Arjuna trees. And Krishna was tied in a wooden grinding motor, is trying to pass between the two trees. Wooden grinding motor is stuck and Krishna just pulls a little bit and then the trees fall. And that's how these two personalities, they were delivered from this demonic tendency. In our life also, when we pray to the Lord, firstly we have to understand that this anartha is there within, in minute or in major quantity. And we have to pray to Krishna, Oh Krishna, please help me. You delivered Nalakuver and Manigri from this demonic tendency of arrogant pride. Oh Lord, please, please, please kill this demonic tendency within me also. I don't want to do low stock. I don't want my heart to be hard. I don't want to be shameless. I don't want to do any disgraceful activity. Please help me, O Lord. And this is something that will happen involuntarily. All these different things which we mentioned. So we should pray to the Lord that, O Lord, please give me the right intelligence at the right time so that I can avoid all this. Because finally we want to get closer to Krishna. Therefore today when we are chanting Hare Krishna, let's pray to Lord that, O Lord, the way you delivered Nalakuver and Mani Grieve, please deliver this arrogant pride which is standing like trees. Please, please, please destroy these trees and destroy this demonic tendency of arrogant pride and help me to advance in Krishna consciousness. So let's meditate on this pastime 
एंड द अनर्थ एंड प्रे टू कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा